Good morning. Today is Sunday, January 24th, and it's the Lord's Day, and it's time for our virtual uh, service of worship. Uh, today is a special service, and we have the opportunity to welcome the Reverend Ralph Wright uh, to our virtual uh, pulpit this morning. We're very pleased to have him uh, this morning. It's been um, a joy to work with uh, Ralph and preparing for this virtual service. And I also uh, want to offer a very special thanks uh, to Lori Vu from the uh, Presbytery, who helped us out quite a bit, uh, especially as it pertains to the ordination service. And so this is a special uh, virtual service. Uh, in this virtual service, besides having the regular things and normal things we have for a virtual service, we're also going to be uh, presenting our ordination and installation uh, ordination of, of elders and deacons and installation of uh, trustees and uh, elders and deacons that have already been ordained. Uh, we had a, a Zoom uh, uh, event uh, where all the people were live and Ralph was live and that was hosted by Lori Vu. And uh, we went through the entire thing, what we normally do at a service. And since God is not bound by uh, time or space, we present that to you this morning for your agreement as well. So it was a real blessing. We're also doing a virtual communion service. We're coming to the Lord's table uh, this morning. And uh, the Ralph is, uh, the Reverend Wright is uh, leading us. So it's been real interesting putting this service together. And so I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, we do have a few announcements before I do the call to worship. Uh, Scouting Sunday is February 7th. Uh, we are honoring all of our folks involved in scouting. Please contact the office with the name of your scout so we can be sure to include them. Uh, we will be hosting these virtual services for the foreseeable future as COVID numbers are still high, although I'm glad to see that they are coming down a bit and I anticipate that they're going to come down more. And so we are discussing this as a, as a session in the leadership team about when we should go back to uh, live in-person services. Uh, most likely sometime in, in February, we'll feel that it's uh, safe enough to go back. But for now, we're hosting, uh, we're having virtual services on Sunday. Uh, the building is not locked, uh, not closed, I should say. Some people have thought that the building was closed. The building is still available for meetings, and each person who has a particular meeting, the leader of those meetings, should take into consideration the people uh, that are in, in the group and in the meeting and should make decisions based on that as to whether or not you wanna have it in the building or not. Uh, we are asking for, at least for a few weeks, that people would call the office rather than just stop in. Uh, we're trying to keep the office, uh, as much traffic as we can down uh, from the office. If you've got a reason to be there, if you're helping with the bulletins or, well, we're not doing that because it's a virtual service, but if you've got other reasons to be there um, that, uh, that, that Dorothy and the office folks know about, then that's okay, but just, Popping in, we're asking that you just please call, at least for the time being. But if you want to host a meeting in the building, you can contact Dorothy and you can still do that as long as everybody in your group agrees. And you practice, of course, you know, mask wearing and uh, social distancing. Uh, we are encouraging everybody in the church, in our church family, during these times to please uh, honor your pledges, to please consider uh, giving extra if you can. I know it's a very difficult time. Uh, some people are out of work. It's been difficult with the economy. People are small business owners and they're having trouble, but we're also having difficulty as a church. So if you can please um, honor honor your pledge or, or, or give a little bit more, uh, we, would, we would really appreciate it and God would bless you and we're very thankful. Uh, please check your bulletin. The bulletin's available on the website here for additional announcements and details. And I'm going to uh, do the call to worship right now. And then uh, on, the, on the virtual service, you can proceed to the prelude. So it's a little out of order, but it's kind of how we do it for the virtual services. Our call to worship this morning is Psalm 40, 1 through 4. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire, he set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. 
Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods.